नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ वी टोल्ड यू इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ लॉट अ लॉट ऑफ अप्रोर इन इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स वी टोल्ड यू दैट इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड कुड कम अप एज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट इशू इन 2024 जनरल इलेक्शन बाय द लुक्स ऑफ इट दैट्स वेयर we are headed so a very very interesting episode i don't say this to you often but try and see this episode completely wait till the last part of this episode this is a very very interesting episode okay so yeah let's get into the show then we'll talk chalo so i will start with the disclosure remember we had spoken about sbi giving disclosure SBI first saying we need six months, then the court wrapping them, then they coming down and giving disclosure, and we also said that listen, it all depends on how the disclosure is given by SBI, whether it is going to be easily deciphered, whether the last common denominator in India can understand who gave what to who and how much, till the last common uh, denominator can cannot decipher that it is. it is going to be difficult and we also spoke to you yesterday about how the maharashtra state state bank of india employees union themselves wanted their chairman to resign because they feel he got extension and they are not aware they are not sure whether he is working for the benefit of the bank or he is working as a reciprocal as a return gift to the extension that he got i don't say this it is the employees federation that says this maharashtra state state bank of india employees federation that says it now what has sbi done sbi has given everything but sbi has not given the unique serial number which links the donor the amount to a party to baki sab diya according to the five judge constitution bench of chief justice of india dy chandrachur and justice sanjeev khanna br gavai jp pardiwala and manoj mishra said that sbi has not fully complied with its march 11 order in which it was ordered that the bank has to disclose all details concerning electoral bonds according to prashant bhushan advocate senior advocate prashant bhushan he says the court raised the issue of the information submitted by the state bank of india to the election commission of india about the particulars of the bonds they said that this information did not include the alpha numerical number of the bonds so therefore they have not given full information about the people who purchased the bonds as well as the parties who redeemed the bonds this is the story this is the story they are saying that baba listen you know what pura information nahi diya hai full information is not given the we no no who received which party received what bonds from whom wo nahi diya hai naam diya hai who has the donor's name is given the amount is given but who did the amount go is not given now that is point number 1 we also know how much the parties received but who gave them they don't know so i am going to this presentation is going to be of three parts first is i told you about sbi disclosure now let us come into the interesting part of the this entire editorial you know the interesting factor is out of the top 30 donors out of the top 30 donors 14 of those 30 donors were raided by probe agencies 14 out of the 30 donors were raided by the probe by probe agencies which is your ed cbi it etc 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 and if you if i actually take you through the names of 30 donors it's quite interesting let me start with the person who has paid maximum for indian democracy he has paid this company has paid the maximum for indian democracy he has paid an amount of 1368 crores no no it is not tatas it is not birlas it is not even ambani's neither adanis this company is called future gaming and hotel services 
This company is basically into lotteries. He is called as Lottery King. The company is headed by a, a, a gentleman called San Diego Martin. And San Diego Martin is called Lottery King, Future Games. This lottery industry closes reportedly with interest in healthcare, education, hospitality, gambling, bought electoral bonds worth 1,368 crores. Now, I will also tell you the other fact about this uh, company. In 2022, this particular company, Enforcement Directorate attached assets of the company and its various sub-distributors worth around 409 crores in money laundering cases. ED attached its property, 409 crores in money laundering cases, which future gaming hotel services. He paid, this company paid 1,368 crores, Baba. 1,368 crores to some political party. And the thing is that technically, this is the transparency and he technically has paid to strengthen the democracy of our country. Strengthen the democracy of our country. Okay, now I'll give you another name. The second largest player. The second largest player is a company called Mega Engineering and Infrastructure Limited. In October 2019, the income tax department carried out raids at multiple offices of Telugu tycoon Krishna Reddy's Mega Engineering Infrastructure Limited in Hyderabad and other cities. So the income tax carried out raids in this company this mega engineering uh, infrastructure private limited and he is number two who has given the maximum money. He has given, this is the second largest company which has given, which has donated to electoral bonds and this company has given 966 crores in electoral bonds. 966 crores. Name mega engineering infrastructure limited. Now I want you to hear a clip which Mr. Nitin Gadkari our union minister had spoken about Mega Engineering Infrastructure Limited. Just hear this. This was the Jhojila Tunnel. This was the Manjuri of the government. After this, it was a tender for 4 times. If there was a tender for 1 time, then it was rejected. If there was a tender for 2 times, then it was rejected. If there was a tender for 2 times, then it was rejected. If there was a tender for 2 times, then it was rejected. If there was a tender for 2 times, then it was rejected. उसमें भी अड़चन आई क्योंकि 12,000 करोड़ कॉस्ट बढ़ गई, फिर कैबिनेट में जाना पड़ा, तो मेरे समझ में नहीं आया कि ये कॉस्ट क्यों बढ़ रही है, और मैं केवल ये मेरा श्रीय नहीं है, मेरे हमारे अधिकारियों का है और दिल्ली में एक असोसिएम करके एक संगठन संस्था है, जो उद्योग और व्यवसाय में काम ना मैं चार्टर अकाउंटेंट हूँ ना मैं इंजीनियर हूँ पर मुझे वर्ली बांद्रा सीलिंग मुंबई में बना एक्सप्रेस आई में बना थोड़ा अनुभव था तो मैंने कहा ये टनल की कॉस्ट एक्सेग्रेटेड है इसके टेक्निकल क्वालिफिकेशन बदले और उसमें इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को इनकरेज किया गया 12000 करोड़ के और इस सदन को विश्वास के साथ नम्रता पूर्वक बताना चाहता हूं यहां तो थोड़ी भी गड़बड़ हुई तो तुरंत आपको पता चल जाता है आपको 50 लाख करोड़ में एक भी कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ऐसा नहीं मिलेगा कि उसको अपना कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मंजूर करने के लिए कभी मंत्री को मिलना पड़ा ऐसा एक भी नहीं मिलेगा आपको कोई ध्यान में आएगा तो मुझे बता दो ट्रांसपेरेंट टाइम बाउंड रिजल्ट ओरियंटेड एंड करप्शन फ्री और आपको मुझे बताते हुए खुशी हो रही इस देश के इस टेंडर में जिस कंपनी ने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट जीता पांच लोगों ने टेंडर भरे कंपटीशन हुई और हैदराबाद की एक मेधा इंजीनियरिंग करके कंपनी उन्होंने काम लिया और फारूक साहब इस एक ही काम में हमारी सरकार ने एस्टिमेट कॉस्ट से पांच हजार करोड़ रुपए की बचत की और ये करके नॉट दैट टाइम सेइंग दैट देर इज एनी लिंक देर इज नथिंग दैट वी हैव टू वी कैन प्रूव दैट यू नो there was any link to this particular donation and what he said and no link whatsoever. I just wanted you to hear this, what you, what I just shared with you. Now let me come to Halda Engineering Limited, third uh, donor. The firm donated 377 crores in electoral bonds. It faced action by the Central Bureau of Investigation in 2020. So 2020 action 
by Central Investigation Bureau and they paid 377 crores. Vedanta Limited, Vedanta Group Company Talwadi Sobo Power Limited was raided by ED in connection with money laundering probe in 2022. The group has collectively donated 400 crores to electoral bonds. Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, the Hyderabad based corporate hospital chain, has been raided by income tax officials in December 2020. It donated 162 crores. DLF Commercial Developers, the reality developer company, donated 130 crores in electoral bonds and was raided by CBI officials in 2019 over alleged irregularities in allocation of land. Again raided in November 2023 and the ED searches its Gurgaon office in connection with an investigation against the real estate firm Supertech. So this is DLF, amount given 130 crores. Jindal Steel, in April 2022, ED searches the premises of JSPL, that is Jindal Steel and Power Limited in connection with a probe link to alleged violation of foreign exchange regulation, the company donated 123 crores. Chennai Greenwood Private Limited, construction from Chennai Greenwood Private Limited was raided by income tax official July 2021. In January 2022, it donated 105 crores in electoral bonds. Income tax official raided in 2021, January 2022, donated 105 crores. Now, let me, as I go ahead, let me also tell you, I am not saying, we are not saying that it is all related. We are not saying that they have given to electoral bonds because they were raided. We are just saying they were raided and they also gave electoral bonds. What you want to decipher out of it, you decipher out of it, which is what I said and I keep on saying, you decipher. These, this information is something for you to decipher. You decipher what it is. Okay, now let me go further. Dr. Reddy's laboratory. In November 2023, IT officials conducted raid on Dr. K. Nagendra Reddy and Dr. Reddy's laboratory over allegations of tax evasion. This was part of a larger operation involving search of premises of Telangana Education Minister Sabita Indra Reddy. Dr. Reddy's laboratories has still then made donations worth 80 crores in electoral bonds. So raided in 2023 and they have made donations to electoral bonds worth 80 crores. IFB Agro Limited. In June 2020, IFB, one of India's biggest distiller and spirit manufacturer, alleged that Kolkata Zonal Unit of Directorate General of Goods and Service Taxes Intelligence, that is DGGST, raided the company in Nupur plant in 2023 and this particular company has paid 92 crores, 92 crores in electoral bonds. This is it. There are a few more. NCC Limited, Hyderabad company donated 60 crores and the income tax department has raided them in 2022. DVS Laboratories, Hyderabad based company has donated 55 crores and the IT has taken action against them in 2015. United Phosphorus Limited, the IT department conducted raids in their offices premises in January 2020. The company donated 50 crores. Orbindo Pharma, the Enforcement Directorate in November 22 arrested Sharath Reddy, Director of Arvindo Pharma in connection with money laundering uh, probe and the company has donated previously 1.6 crores to the electoral bonds. This is the story. So, very, very surprisingly, people who are very patriotic in this case, patriotic to ensure that they pay the government, they pay, they strengthen our democracy by very transparently, very transparently giving money to uh, <laughs> to the to the political parties are lot of them, not all of them, lot of them have got ED, IT, CBI, GST action against them, and they have paid money, paid large monies. This lottery company, Future Gaming and Hotel Services, run by this gentleman called Lottery King Santiago Martin has paid 1,368 crores to strengthen India's democracy. And now, now think about it. To all those people who said that, your name, why are you divulging the name? Yes. Do you think Santiago, Lottery King Santiago Martin's name should have not been divulged? The people should have not known that Lottery King Santiago Martin gave 1,368 crores to political parties. Is that is that, is that something really wrong? 
that's I think that answers a lot of questions. Now, last part of the uh, my editorial, whatever I quoted till now, a lot of it I have taken from the Quint. So, courtesy Quint. What I am going to quote now, a lot of it has been taken from Hindu. So, courtesy Hindu. Now, party wise, if you uh, see the amount received by uh, various parties through electoral bonds, the numbers are as follows. Bharatiya Janata Party has received 6,000 60.51 crores as electoral bonds. Trinamool Congress. Trinamool Congress has received 1609.53 crores as electoral bonds, donation through electoral bonds. Indian National Congress has received 1421.87 crores through electoral bonds as donations. BRS has received 1214. 0.71 crores as electoral bonds through donation. BJD, BJD has received 775.50 crores as electoral bonds, donations through electoral bonds. So these were the top five parties that received the bulk of electoral bonds, donations of electoral bonds. This is the story. So this is what the electoral bonds is all about. This is the story of the electoral bonds. Doesn't end here, it starts here. It starts here. We will be talking about electoral bonds in a lot more episodes than just this one. Lot more stories to say, lot more investigation to do and a lot more to present to you about the electoral bonds. So when, like I said, when we said that this is going to create a lot of flutter in Indian politics, this is what I actually meant. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.